hey guys welcome back to my another video in this video i'm going to show you that how we can use the uh, condition rendering on jsx so let's get started and i am running my react applications on the uh, local for 3000 here and uh, now let me do the go to the uh, let me make this big first okay this looks big okay now i go here this is going to be really simple guys uh basically just i'm just going to show you how we can do a condition statement on jsx here on react so okay so let's see let's assume that uh, we have some kind of the uh, state here so in the functional component we could uh, define our state using something called use state here so this is the initial uh, the state what will be and this is my the uh, the state uh, function set foot which will set the foot and this is my state as a foot if i put here as a dumpling right food for this one and if i print it out like like this uh not this all but uh, but here right if i save it and use state not defined of course i need to import the use state from react so here use state is import from react and once i save it and once i save it here is as you guys can as you guys can see dumpling is here so now what we're gonna do is uh, let me uh, create uh, the input field here okay and let me do on change function on input field uh, okay on change and whenever this will unchange here and an and event basically uh, we will get the value and an event that target that value so whenever whenever we type on this input box which is really huge then i need to show the uh, the i want to show the, my state here i want to bind my input to the state if you guys check my previous video which i show you how we can, can i can we can bind the uh, input field uh, to our state easily and this is exact same thing which i am going to do here so now uh, my if i print my the food here right like food here then dumpling show up because my initial state of food is dumpling but my input is not showing as nothing because the initial value of input i haven't assigned it so i will assign to the food so here whenever the initial input the initial value of input is a food it basically is putting a dumpling here and and this food is written here is printing out here so whenever we click it or do change on something here right then then uh, it will set my state and this will change as well so if i do task then it's going to this is one. so now let's do a condition uh a, a j statement on the uh, jsx so now let's see that if the food has a dumpling then we want to show as a true if the food is not dumpling then we want to show as a false so how we can do this right so we can use a trinary operator easily if the food is true then we want to show that okay dumpling is available maybe we want to print something like this if the dumpling is not available then uh, yeah not available that's it uh, just want to show the proof that we could use now it says dumpling is available because it's binding with if i refresh at first time so now dumpling is available but if i change it then it's supposed to change this one as well so okay if the food has of course i need to do equal to here and and i need to put the uh dumpling here so if the food is equal to dumpling then if the so if i refresh if a food is equal to dumpling then show up and if i change it then it doesn't show up so this is how we can use the trinary operator here directly to do a conditional statement on jsx or we could also create the another uh the fun uh, the constant function here and the constant which is going to be a function here maybe we can say here the condition uh condition condition view you know uh, and in condition view 
uh, basically what condition view is supposed to do it, it will pass the uh, state here right and, and we we check here now we can definitely check here if the food is we can do exact same thing if the food is dumpling we could use a trinary operator here as well like this or 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 we can use if and else if the food it has a dumpling like this then then return return this guy or we could also definitely create another component and we can return the component or let me let me create another component here uh, dumpling available component something like this okay so dumpling available a dumpling component okay so this is going to be dumpling component and I'm just going to return the tax on this one like this boom right I'll return with with this I guess oh I don't need this I guess so dumpling here so whenever it is here then I'll just return like dumpling like this if it is uh, dumpling here okay if it's dumpling then return this else else what don't do anything right else okay else also of course yeah we could create another component here but for this is also say not available the same same thing which i was at the bottom so i'm just showing that there, this is the way also we could do it so instead of this using a trinary operator just remove this and in the condition view just pass the state here or uh, yeah just pass the state i think you don't need to pass a state as well but let me check what happened if i refresh first time dumpling is here if i if i change this then it says not available it worked perfectly fine i will try one more thing i don't need i don't think i will need to pass this food here because i food is already got in this view so i just need to use this as as a view here and when the food is dumpling then it's going to call this component and dumpling is available if not then it says not available so if i refresh yep dumpling is available if i then then no it's work exactly fine this is the another way how we can use a condition view conditional uh, view on our jsx or we could also use a trinary operator directly here guys and this is going to be uh, this is how we're going to be use it and thank you very much for watching guys if you guys like my video i will put more programming trick tips on these channels and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much bye for now